What up, everybody, and welcome to yet another indie game along with Genghis Kron. We are officially jumping into the basement collection. Uh, I should say we're officially jumping into the actual games in the basement collection on Steam. Previously, we've been looking at some of the games in the more games folder uh, under, I've said it a billion times, look at the previous video if you want to see the directions on that, or you can look at the IMDb page, it has it on there, I mean IMDb, the Wikipedia, it has it on there also. So we are finally into this, and I am excited. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so, welcome to all of these super goofy-ass games that by Edmund McMillan. So, uh, let's go ahead and... We are going to start with Triacnid. Triacnid is the first game that Edmund McMillan uh, made in this series. It was made, like it says right there, in 2006 with a four month development time. And I'm kind of excited about it. It seems to be goofy. And there's also some bonus content that I have not yet unlocked, although we've already done a video on it by the time you see this, because that was one of his first games, which un it unlocks if you beat this. So. That means that we're going to have to beat this also. So it should be interesting. I'm excited. I got an Old Crow and uh, Sprite. Old Crow and Sprite. And I am kind of ex... Oh, man. I'm just excited to start jumping into some of these uh, smaller indies that were made by Edmund McMillan. And I'm excited to get to the level two to the left of where we're at. Because that one's going to be interesting. So... Uh, let's go ahead and hit this bowl and jump into this. Try Acnid, an oldie but a goodie. All right, he's got the same menu screen from all the other ones that we've checked out so far. I wonder if that's going to be a theme for kind of his style. Check out the options real quick. Quality high, like my dome. And volume is fine. Let's look at the instructions. All right. You can pick up and move the Triacnid's feet by clicking by, wait, hold on. By clicking on them with the left mouse button and dragging them attached to almost any surface. You can also position the Triacnid head to help him balance with the AS. Okay, cool. Oh my God, you guys. I just realized what this is. All right. Can grab onto objects by picking up. Uh, with the right mouse button, releasing the object. Wait, under the track his jaws will put it in his mouth to be eaten or fed. I think it said fed. That didn't seem right. That to be eaten or held. That makes more sense. Um, the triacnid can send a web from its head, its feet. Wait, hold on. From its head, its feet. I'm guessing from its head and its feet. I'm guessing there's probably an and symbol in whatever text this is. It just didn't work with it and it didn't get noticed. Uh, we can send a web from its head, its feet by selecting the foot through mouse and hitting space. The left mouse button and releasing it will attach the web. Okay, so, okay, right, so I can hang. We'll stop the line from being spun. Press space again and it'll cut the line. I'm never going to remember all this. This seems super complicated. Tracking can interact with its web by grabbing it with the right mouse button. Much like an interaction object, you can also lose the line to a platform. Okay. Oh. Attach a loose line to a platform. I read that wrong. Okay, let's go ahead and just start and try this shit. New Game Plus! Unlock by completing the game, and there's mini games, which is kind of cool. There's a bestiary. Ooh. All kinds of unlockables in these, which is kind of neat. Because you wouldn't expect a ton of unlockables in, like, the... In this collection, you wouldn't think. But they really went out of their way to do a bunch of stuff for it. This is kind of cool how they did this sequence. Look at this. Oh man. Sorry, bumped the cord. Kind of excited about this. All right, so yep, it's exactly like Mount Your Friends. Wow, Mount Your Friends guys must have been fans of this game. There's there's no if and or but about it. 
They must have just seen the math on it and been like, ha, oh, what if it was dicks, bro? Whoa, why is that moving on its own now? Totally started moving on its own. That weirded me out. All right, so we should be able to kind of do one of these and then do one of these and then whoop. Mount Your Friends is totally helping me right now. Oh no, that's totally clearly hurting me. So I can't go that way. God, that was terrifying. I didn't realize that was bad until like way too late. Maybe it wasn't bad. Maybe that's just something that happens. Oh God, can't reach it. All right. Oh God. Sorry about that. This fucking drive just disconnect here. Hold on. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I had to disconnect a drive that was malfunctioning. I had a USB drive that was fucking freaking out because I dropped the uh, ball on it a little bit ago. Woo! I like the fake, not real words up here. It's kind of a nice touch, and the music in this is kind of fucking gorgeous. I mean, it's really pretty. Um, here, let's take a drink. So I feel like we should definitely smoke a bowl after each of these. Man, this game's so nice and relaxing compared to the other games I've played of his so far. Like, uh... Oh, Weltling. Carious Weltling was... Both of those are super nerve-wracking. Maybe it's just mostly because I the last games that we played on this channel have been Five Nights at Freddy's and then the Carious Weltling ones and then Club the Seal, which I was awful at and just kept getting wailed on. So in comparison, this is like super calm and great. Locate the hidden switch to open the gate. Okay, move your egg sack to the end of each level to complete it. Also looking out for lost larvae. Pick up your egg sack and any other. Bring it to your mouth. Okay, cool. Gotcha. No! Egg sack! Did I already lose? Wait, what happened? Now what do I do? Where'd it go? Egg sack, where are you? I think I lost already. Most of the egg sack is just at the bottom of this fucking thing. God, this is such a cool but weird art style. Like, it's kind of, it's super creepy how he bounces like that. Oh no, the egg sack's in the fucking... Alright, so, now we just need to do one of these. Wait, no, no, yeah, there we go. And then put it in our mouth, somehow. Space? Nope. Put it in your mouth, bro. Put it in your mouth. In your mouth. Is that not the right leg? Is that why? Maybe it's because it's not the right leg. Oh, God! <laughs> I just threw that fucking thing. <laughs> swim, bro, swim! Alright, so, is this the middle leg? Let's try grabbing that and putting it in our... There, now it's in my mouth. Sweet. So we're good now. So now I can just do this. Yeah, so I think it has to be the middle leg to uh, put it in your mouth. Either that or I was just kept missing before. This is 100% feels like um, mount your friends with objectives and uh, less <laughs> a less dong inspired art style. <laughs> I totally stepped on, I, I whack a mold the shit out of whatever those things are. Man, the Mount Your Friends guys must have played this. It's... Oh no, we lost, because I hit that the spikes. Okay. Put it in the mouth. In the mouth, bro. In the mouth. In the mouth. There we go. 
You just have to watch for when the uh, mouth, like the mouth action closes and then you can kind of see. So, I'm wondering where the fuck we go. Oh shit, and we just lost that fucking thing? I didn't know that was an option. Okay. The one thing is I bet this would be great. The one thing they did do well with Mount Your Friends is that that thing where you can like release all of the arms at the same time. It's kind of a good uh It's kind of a good there we oh, almost had it. There we go. I'm wondering if in the water it'll let go. Nope. Alright, so we just have to avoid the spikes this time. Because that was clearly our downfall last time. God, this music is good. Reminds me of parts of, um... Oh, what's that game? The Rockstar Old West game. I always forget the name of it. Red Dead. God, that game was so good. If I had an X, if I had a capture card, actually, you know what? I heard 360 emulators are starting to work, so maybe one of these days we will start doing some of those emulated and see how they look, because they can't be good. Oh God. Okay, now here's the trick. We have to figure out how. Oh, you can't even get to that thing. Okay, so we need to look around then, because the spikes are right up here to, above us, and that's not what I want to end up doing. Come on, you're right in the way. I know you're gonna end up. Okay, good. What? What the hell? There we go. All right, so we have to figure out how to not hit these spikes. That's not clearly not the way that we're supposed to go then, because there's too many of them to just go around. So let's look around. <clears throat> There's got to be a bridge that we can get across over here. I think, right? Because it didn't even tell us about the... No, look. If you look at where we're at on the map, we have to go... Oh, no, wait. We... It says we can go through that. Wait, it says we can go through this? What the hell? So we can go through this stuff to the right, but I don't see how that's happening. How the fuck is that gonna happen? I feel like we would have to... Okay, wait. I don't know how to... I don't know how to use this web mechanic at all. Alright, we have to not hit those spikes, though. God. I don't know what to do. We can't make it over that. I can't make it over that at all. Not even a little bit. It says I can go this way. What the fuck? Alright, wait. I must be missing something here. Because it looks like you can get through there, right? What am I missing? I must be missing something. What is it? Where... Where am I missing something? There's gotta be something here. Because it clearly looks like... Look, because if you look at the map in the bottom le left corner, there's not all these rocks that are here. But I don't know how to make him go away at all. Fuck. I don't know what to do. I legitimately don't know what to do. Um, I guess let's go back down to the down where we were and see if there's anything down there. Wouldn't it be a bitch if we were supposed to go to the left the whole time? That does seem like something this dude would do. 
just as like uh, playing with what you think about video games kind of thing. Because I'm not seeing any fucking options. What the shit? And now we lost the fucking egg thing. I don't even know where that is. Can you grab that thing above us? Is that possible? Yep. All right, we figured it out. Oh, wrong leg. Nope, no, I have to let go of this first. That's gotta be it, right? Yep, because we have to go up. Okay, I, we got, I got it. Because if you look above where this is, it's, um... Come on. Come on. Yeah. All right. Because if you look there, it does look like it's a path, but it's not super blatant. So it's clearly just trying to teach you that it's not going to be super obvious about where it wants you to go unless you look around. Which I am okay with. Because I didn't... If you look around enough, you'll notice it. Especially since your first instinct is to go back down to the bottom. Which is actually... Oh shit, I missed it. There we go. Because I'm guessing on at the top of this, you'll be able to reach something. I'm guessing... I'm, I, I, actually, I have, I'm not really sure what my plan is with this. To be honest with you, now that I'm thinking about it. It's not really positive. That seemed like a thing, though, that I just collected, right? All right. Oh, God. Okay, so if I go, come on, come on. Get back on the other side. You fucker. It's hitting the other ones and so it can't go. Oh god. This is all so fucked. Oh god. I just broke myself. Jesus. Alright, let's put that in our mouth. Oh god. that You, you didn't put it in the... Just to be clear. What's to the left of us? Okay, we can't go that way. Just wanted to check. Okay. The hidden switch. Oh, wait! We totally found that hidden switch. That's what we found on that ledge. Which I bet opens that... Oh, okay. I got it, and I'm into it. Man, this game. I like how you, you super clearly learn from it. Like, even, actually, all these this dude's games, uh, you, from the beginning, he's real clear about objectives, and he, it's pretty clear what you did wrong. It definitely feels Super Meat Boy, and, um, <laughs> I didn't actually mean to use Super Meat Boy. I meant it feels, like, very Meat Boy-inspired. <laughs> um, Meat Boy and Binding of Isaac kind of inspired, because both of those, when you do something wrong, you can kind of tell it's on you. Like, you can kind of tell you fucked it up. Because it's easy to learn from. You're like, oh, well, that was kind of a dumb move that I did there. That was clearly what fucked me. Shouldn't have gone for the for the for the pill that always gives me less life, even though I always think it might not this time. All right, so we just have to get back up to that switch that's up here, and hit that. Oh shit. Now we can just go back down to the bottom. I believe. And I think now when we look at those rocks, it's going to be opened. I'm guessing. Because that would make the most sense. Because I, I couldn't figure out why it would show opened on the map, but not there. But a switch makes sense. And that green thing is the most switch looking thing I've seen in this game. And when we walk over it, it interacts with us. So I'm guessing that's what it is. And if so, it means this game is super bright, because it actually instructs you on what you're doing wrong. And it's pretty easy to correct. Which a lot of puzzle games don't. Limbo, I'm looking at you sometimes. You're not always super generous. 
There were some of those that got super brutal. It was just me running back and forth being like, what the fuck do I do? Yeah! And switch open. Level two! Cheers. God, the music in this is so good. Ball! I'm excited to see what the next mechanic is. Because that web mechanic seems like it'll be interesting. Time to spin a web and catch a key. Grab a foot, press space to spin a web. Attach webs to walls by using the right mouse button. Pressing against the wall and then releasing it. Cut a web at any time by pressing space again. Okay, that's how I cut that web before. Okay, I think I got this actually. I just have to get a key by swinging it. So we just have to get over to where we can clearly visibly see where the key is. It's not a key, right? What is that? Okay, that is that the key, I'm guessing. Okay. It's gonna keep moving, right? The closer I get, so I have to not move and I have to just put a swing the uh, key towards it or I mean the thing towards it. I just can't see it is the problem because it keeps moving off screen. I would swing the key if I could see where the fuck it was. Oh, did it respawn all the way back over there? Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh god, how far are you moving, fucker? Well, how far did it move? Okay, here we go, here we go. Right here, right here. Oh god, careful, careful. We're good, we're good. Okay, space. Wait, I have to select a limb, right? Space. And then, how do I swing that? I don't know how to swing the web. How do I swing the web? Right click to place it, and then space to cut it? So, what do I do with that, then? Oh, here we go. Oh god, that was not what I meant to do. Let's definitely grab that back. And let's definitely grab this back. And let's grab onto this again. And let's just try to swing that shit. Wait. Alright, so. No, wait. Grab it. Grab it. I don't know. It doesn't grab and then move. There we go. Oh god, why does it keep doing that? Come on, grab the fucking rope. You're not grabbing the fucking rope, okay? Super helpful. I'm so confused by this mechanic, if you can't tell. Oh god, wrong one, wrong one. Oh, that's why I wasn't grabbing it. It's because I didn't... Okay. Oh god, what? The fuck kind of shitty mechanic is this? I can't handle it. I don't know. It's The rope's not even gonna reach there. I guess it's a web, technically. Whatever the fuck it is, it's not gonna reach there. Alright, here we go, here we go. Don't move that far, motherfucker. Oh, there we go. That's how we do it. And then you can just swing it around as long as you don't attach it. Okay. <clears throat> I got this. I think. Creep, yeah. I'm gonna burn your house down. Stupid little fairy. Oh, 
Alright, wait. So, why is it... <clears throat> oh, because it's already attached. So, theoretically, if I go like this... Did it already attach? No, I can't swing it up, though. Oh, God. I don't get this. So, wait. Wait, maybe I do get this. Maybe if, if I go like this now and chase this full down with this web... It's just gonna create a giant web, right? So, like, if I just create all kinds of weird, crazy webs over here, start attaching this shit to things... Like this... Like, if I attach the web like that, except it's not working... That didn't work at all. That didn't work at all. Look, now it's just hanging over there. It's crazy long, but it's not doing shit. Maybe I can... Oh, there we go! Okay, we got it on the web. So now we just have to grab the web up the top and we can get it. That's easy. Oh, look, the rock is on it too now. Quit playing games, rock. I don't want you. Jesus, now everything's on this stupid web. Oh god, not that one. Grab that one. Nope. Yeah. Come on, grab it. There we go. Give me that shit. Come here, fucker. I'm getting ya. I'm fucking getting ya. How do I feed this to myself? Or do I put it in there? There we go. Yeah! Science, fuckers! Oh, and the web held onto the ball for me! Yo, that was tight! I'm liking this game. This has way more mechanics than I'm, I can actually use. So I just can't do it. Wow! Level 3! That was fucking cool! This is such weird puzzles. Like, these are so... Oh, man. The way he's using the mechanics are not the way I would think to use them ever. But it's super, it's one of those things that when you think about it and you think it through, you're like, all right, if I fuck around with this enough, I'll run into the right way. All right, let's keep it going. Oh shit. We got to like the next stage or something. Time to dive. Stay inside the big bubbles to refill the air bar. Oh god. This sounds like it's gonna be rough. Oh god, I'm guessing those things are nope, they're not spiky. Fuck, I wish I had to realize that quickly. Okay, we got our oxygen back up. So now, if we grab that fucker, oh, you f little bitch. <sighs> Throw a rock at you, motherfucker. You're dead, motherfucker. I can't grab that thing. I'm guessing it leads you to the one thing, though. Get in the air bubble, you fuck. Alright. Now that we're back in the air bubble... Oh, God! Oh, we're almost out of air. Okay, got back in the air bubble. We're good. All right, let's keep it going. Hope we're going the right way. Nope, we need to find the um, egg thing first. All right, let's go back up the other way.
Alright. Back with full air, so let's check up. Oh god. Let's refill the air real quick. And oh, can't reach that. Alright, let's try like that. Oh god damn it, really? Alright, really? Come on with this shit. There's like for a second it'll reach, but it's only when two of these are off. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh god, this is not working. I don't know if anything's up here. We might die. Yep. We missed the egg sack somewhere. Or I'm assuming we did, unless there just isn't one. But I assumed there would be because of that one little dude, because I couldn't grab onto him. See, I can't grab him. It won't ever let me do it. Like, when I go to grab him, it just doesn't ever let me grab onto him. Oh, I thought I almost had him that time. Fuck. Oh, wait! Got you, fucker. Alright, there we go. Oh, I died in the process, but I got him that time. Alright, so that is a thing. Alright, here, wait, cheers. I just realized I can totally be playing this game one-handed, so back to the drinking! Man, this game is fucking fun. I keep learning more and more as I'm playing. Fucking come on! Get his ass! Get in the fucking. Get in the health. Get in the health. Get in the. God damn it! Alright, we really need to be more conscious about the bubbles, clearly. Got him in one movement, and we're in the health. Woo! Or oxygen, I should say. And in the oxygen. Alright, this is going good. Alright. And, oh god, we're good again, we got this one, took me a minute to be able to grab this little fucker, but once I got him, it wasn't bad at all, unless there's something else I'm missing. Oh yeah, number four. Cheers. Man, this game, I like how it's progressing, because it doesn't stick to the same the same uh, skills, but it always has the same aspect that this dude's games always has, where like, you have all the skills from the beginning, you just get better at using them as you go along. It kind of just teaches you the mechanics slowly. Which is like Super Meat Boy 101. I actually never played that game when it was on Newgrounds. I only found it once it went to uh, Xbox Live. Find the creators who stole your egg sack. I remember I had some buddies who played that. Um, they played Castle Crashers and I think it was like 2K13 or whatever it was out at the time. Probably not 13, probably 12 or something like that. Actually, wait, year before, right? So maybe. What's that? Oh, there, that is the right way. Stop. Oh God, I almost died because of that fucking thing. Well, what is that? What is that? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, I. I'll grab the shit out of you. I will eat the shit out of you. 
I feel like I just have to keep throwing those things. That's how you beat them. You grab them, and you fucking bang them into stuff. Bang, bitch, bang! Bang! Bang, bang! I'm gonna Chief Keef your ass. Boom! I don't even know what happened. Am I still holding on to him? Nope, threw him in the water. Ha, ah, fucker. Come on, grab that little bitch. He's gonna die. Can those things die in the water? Wasn't that other one in the water the entire time? Wait, am I not supposed to go this way? Nope. That was dumb. Cheers. Fight the creatures who stole my egg sack. Wait, we didn't start here last time. This is weird. Did we? We didn't start there last time, did we? Or did we beat that? What the fuck is happening? Did we start somewhere different than last time? I'm so confused right now. This seems like a completely different level. This seems like a completely different level. What the fuck is that? Grab that bitch, grab that bitch. Fuck his ass up. Oh, I should eat that fucking thing, right? What, what happened? I don't, I don't understand this level. Level five, what are you trying to teach me? Wait, level five, I guess we did beat level four. Weird. I don't even know how that happened. Feed that to yourself. Now let's go fuck some fools up. Okay, so here's the thing. Clearly we're supposed to disable that egg sack thing. That's definitely the right move. What I don't know, there must be more How did we break that shit last time? I can't break- oh, the switch, that's how. This shit is crazy, what- what the fuck did we do last time that we're not doing this time? Alright, wait, maybe let's just grab onto it and hang from it. Maybe that'll do it. Maybe it's because we have too much stability. God damn it, grab that motherfucker. What are you doing? What the shit is that? If I, okay, so if I let go. Jesus Christ, really? Well, how's this gonna work then? Fuck you. So I can't hang from it. How did we break that shit last time? Hold on. There we go. Oh god. Wonder if we did it. I, th I feel like we did it. Nope. Yeah, level five. That one was easy, but confusing. That's how I would describe level five. Cheers. All right, let's keep this truck a moving along. All right, rappel down to the next platform, attach a web to the one you're on, then jump off. Sending by grabbing your web with the right platform. Wait, what? Let's see how this mechanic works, because I don't feel like I'm going to be good at it.
Oh wait, no wait. So I'm supposed to do it like this. And then, okay, so now we have, now we're attached, so now we just let go. Woo! Oh god, went too far down. <laughs> Stop yourself by, oh, that's, that would have been useful. <laughs> right mouse button would have been super useful in that last one. All right, I'm starting to get the hang of these mechanics, though. go underneath this shit and then just boom and now we're like all fucking whoop de doo and nope hold on glad I still have one leg attached there we go and now if I let go and I hit right all right that's what I'm talking about nope I need you to let go and you to let go and now right there we need to go that way come on you dummy there you go. Wow, I accidentally- I almost lost that one. That almost felt like it cheated for me because I was about to lose. Alright, I'm getting the hang of this and I'm liking it a lot. This is super cool. Reminds me of World of Goo a little bit. But then again, I've never played World of Goo, so not, I'm not the best person to ask about it either. Alright, so I feel like we're gonna have to repel again here. Alright, we're attached, so let's just fucking go for it. Now we just have to get over there, I'm guessing. Oh god, oh god, oh god, grab that shit, grab that shit, grab everything. God damn it, grab the fucking. <laughs> At least that shit's attached. Alright, wait, we need to go up here. Grab there, grab there. How do I grab? How do I grab? Come on, grab. Every... Grab anything! Jeez. This is going nowhere quickly. I don't even know what to do now. Oh god, put it back in your mouth. Put it back in your mouth while you can. No, stop it. Go in the mouth. Yeah, now, wait. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Too many mechanics happening right now. Oh man, this is rough. All right. This first one is no no problem. Second one, a little bit crazier. Because the first one, we really just need to go like here. And be like, Meh. wait, wait, stop it. Go here. And then we'll just grab on over here, probably. Uh, I guess I do need to technically let go. Come on. There you go. And we can just go here. Go that way. Stop it. Alright, okay, fine. Go this way. I don't give a shit. Just do something. Jesus. Why, when I go the opposite direction, does it... Oh, because momentum? That's kind of weird, the way that works. Oh, what in the shit is that? Come on. You're kidding me, right? Fuck you. <laughs> All right, well, I think this is where we're going to wrap it this episode. We will come back and get into more of this, because we are definitely going to play some more Tracted. I'm really liking this game. Um, again, this is from the McMillan, the Emma McMillan uh, games, the Basement Collection. So look for some more of this coming up. we got more Tracted Part 2 and some more Edmund McMillan stuff also to come. So uh, keep an eye out. Also, we've been giving away some games on Twitter, uh, some Steam codes and stuff. So keep an eye on that. Uh, Genghis Kron on Twitter, spelled like it is everywhere on this page. Or you can just fucking, I don't know, Google it. You'll find it. And uh, until then, everybody, go do something decadent. We out. Bye.